Hello everyone, my name is Aliza Kuntia. I'm from Class 3 Stewart School, Bhuvneshwar, and today I'm going to tell you a very beautiful story. And what's that story name? That story name is Spinny's Good Turn. So now you must be thinking, who is Spinny? Who is Spinny? Who is Spinny? So Spinny is a hedgehog. So Spinny is a hedgehog. And so what happened now, I'm going to tell you. So there was a little girl and the little girl's name was Jean. So Jean loved Jean. So Jean loved uh, planting radishes and lettuces so that her family could eat the radishes and lettuces for tea. So do you know that Jean had Jean had two batches. Okay, in a garden, in a very small garden, she had two batches. And one of those batches in she grew, in one of the batches, she grew flowers. And in another batch, she grew radishes and lettuces. So, uh, she, she gave her mother radishes and lettuces. Not radishes and lettuces. Um, she gave her mother flowers for every, every day. And uh, radishes and lettuces, she grew for what? What purpose? She grew them for tea tea time so that her family could eat radishes and lettuces with salt and butter and salt butter and tea so one one day i mean one year jean was unfortunate something first ate her radishes and lettuces now something first ate her saplings and then some and then something ate her lettuces then something then something happened to the flowers and like this went on so now jean was very disappointed she said to her mother Mother, I'll not be able to give you now the any flowers or radishes and lettuces for tea. This time something unfortunate has happened to me. It's summertime now. What can I do? You can have you shall have no uh, things this summer. So her mother said, Oh, what a nuisance. It must be the rabbit starling they shall eat that they must they would be eating all those things i shall call to daddy and put some wire netting wire netting <laughs> around your around your patch so the jean said okay and that day her father put some wire netting and the next day nothing happened so the then something else happened what could it be at first, it ate the young tender radishes. Something ate, made a hole in all those. What could that be? Then something ate all, ate the half half of the lettuces. Then what could that be? So her mother said, "Oh, Jean, this must be those slugs and those nasty caterpillars. Why do they always choose your little bit of garden to nibble at?" So now. Jean said, what should I do now? And she went disappointed to uh, went to her garden and saw what was happening now. There she saw something lying. Was it a hedgehog? It had many uh, prickly, it was very prickly. And the hedgehog was very afraid when he saw Jean. He just uh, made himself into a spinny ball, into a spinny thing and spin. Then... He called himself, but he had a hurt leg and that uh, hanged out, hanged out, torn and bleeding. So Jean thought of carrying it in her hanky. So uh, Jean took her carefully, took the uh, hedgehog carefully and uh, went to her home. She asked her mother, mother, what is, what can we do with this hedgehog? Then her mother said, oh, this can eat, this can, this has a, a heart. It is hot. It has hurt its leg. So I shall put some antiseptic lotion and bandage on it. 
on his legs and put some dog food for it to eat and it will eat and it will be safe in the wide netting your father has put. So Jean said, okay, let's see what happens now. Then uh, Jean, uh, then her mother uh, just did as she said, put some antiseptic lotion and then bandaged the leg. Now the hedgehog would hardly walk. So uh, then what happened that Jean the next day put Jean then put uh, carefully in her hanky, put it carefully in her hanky and Jean just left it in the wide netting, inside the wide netting. Her mother put out some dog food there and the uh, and the hedgehog was very hungry and ate those pieces uh, where those pieces gobbled up those pieces hungrily. So the next day nothing happened. Okay, no, no, no more fly, fat slugs, no more caterpillars. Then the next day didn't anything happen to those radishes or lettuces. The next day not. Now the, do you know that hedgehog, now the hedgehog had, lay, had been living in Jean's garden for four whole days. Okay. And so now that it has been living for four, uh, four whole days, then her mother said, Oh, Jean, now we must uh, leave this animal uh, and go and let the animal go to its home. Because it's a wild animal and we can't keep it here. Then Jean said, then Jean said, Oh, mother, I want to keep this one. I want to keep a hedgehog as a pet. She said, uh, and but her mother said no no it is a wild animal we must let it go and they let it go now that it could uh, walk easily why it could walk easily because it had been really now strong and do you know that why did those plants uh, that those plants uh, grow up why because that hedgehog has been eating those big fat slugs and caterpillars and then what happened that, uh, then, uh, then Jean said, oh, I want to keep it for a pet. But her mother said, no, you can't. And then what happened that Jean, then uh, they left it go with a disappointed heart. Then the next day, the hedgehog once again came. And it was now just coming to the garden every day. So now Jean kept it as a pet. So you must be wondering how did I know this all? So I just went to uh, went for tea uh, the other day with Jean, and I saw Jean, and I had tea uh, with great yummy radishes and crisp crisp green lettuces. It was really nice, and she told me about her prickly hedgehog, and she called her it her spinny spinny ball. So that hedgehog's name was Spinny. So that's the story. Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you. Have a nice day.